We have seen record numbers of early voters here in Maryland and expect thousands more to cast their ballots between now and Tuesday. And joining us this morning with an update is Deputy Administrator for the Board of Elections, Nikki Charlson. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. So go ahead and tell us about some of the trends that you've been seeing with the early voting. Right, so it's been it's been a busy six days of early voting, um, but we have two more left to go. So for voters who want to vote early, it's going on now. Today looks like it's not going to be the busiest day. So if you can carve out some time today, we encourage you to go today. Uh, there are 81 centers that will be open all day today until 8 p.m. and then 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, and so we're ready for voters who want to get it out of the way before Tuesday. Um, of course, we're also ready for Tuesday and expect it to be a busy day but hope that as many voters as possible can vote um, during early voting and, and leave early election day for voters who maybe don't have that option. And when we talk about record numbers, are we seeing more early voters now than in the last presidential election? We are, we are well above what we saw in 2016. Over, over 800,000 voters have already voted. And then we add on top of that, the 1.2 million mail-in ballots that we already have back. So. Um, Many of most of our voters have already voted um, and we hope that that continues obviously for the next couple of days. Um, so for voters who got a mail in ballot and haven't returned it, please do so. Use one of our ballot drop off boxes that we have. Um, if you're going to mail it, try to get it in the mail tomorrow. Um, it has to be postmarked on Tuesday. So really super important to get it in the mail tomorrow or better yet, use one of the ballot drop off boxes that our election officials are collecting from twice a day. Where in Maryland are you seeing the highest numbers of early voters so far? Well, as where you would expect, right? The areas with the largest populations. Um, we've seen our, our busiest couple of sites during the week have been in Harford County and St. Mary's and Charles. Um, so they're the busiest per site, but obviously the they don't have as many locations as some of the larger populations, but um, the large counties are, are clearly driving the, the turnout, but um, it's, it's busy everywhere, which is great. Has this been surprising to you because we are in the middle of a pandemic and we thought so many people would just be doing their mail in ballots to see these big numbers at the polls? Well, we've been watching what happens around the country and, and knew we were going to get a large number of voters voting by mail, which is what we were encouraging. So that was good. Um, but we also were watching, um, knowing that our voters are like voters everywhere engaged and, and want to have their voice be heard. And so we expected early voting to be busy. Um, we have large facilities so we can social distance and move voters through and that will continue to happen on election day. Um, so this is this is what we expected and, and we're happy to see voters um, eager to vote. All right, so give us your biggest election day advice. You know, the polls open at seven o'clock on Tuesday morning. So actually my biggest advice would be vote early. Go today, get it out of the way or Monday. But if Tuesday's your day, um, right, so they're open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Typically, the middle of the day is the slowest time. So if you can adjust your schedule and go at lunchtime or early afternoon, um, you might see less lines there. Um, but just know that if you're in line at 8 p.m., you will get to vote. It might take a while, but as long as you are in line at 8 o'clock, uh, you will get to vote. All right, Nikki Charlson, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Good luck uh, for the next few days. Thank you very much.